Hey guys, Banana Luck here, and welcome back to another Watch of Realms video. Back with the weekly exclusive artifact forge. So, just gonna head into Port Reef and claim the rewards. I think the new one comes with the Master Keys, the one that has been used to clear gear, uh, gear dungeons. Because lots of people have been complaining how for end game content it's quite limited with the number of um, tries that you have. So I think they've added into gear rate 1 through 3 as well as Void Rift, from what I heard. See 5 of it, that's nice. Let's sell the rest of the gear. I think it was last week that we got that um, crazy amount of enchants. I think it was 2 arena permits, that's nice. Usual ancient crystals. Just hit right out here. And we're gonna redeem this. So that puts us at 37 ancients. We also did get the mythic artifact essence from the what do you call that? Odyssey quest line. So the next big reward is gonna be from the Soul Stones at 72, but we're going to be stuck here for a while because of this particular quest, which requires you to attain E or above for five different Codex bosses, which is kind of weird given that the later quest, where was it? Right over here, requires you to achieve S and above, but only for three different bosses. So this means that you can do it within a month, but this one on the other hand uh, means that you have to probably clear it in like, I don't know, two months at the very least. Yeah, the rest of the stuff are pretty straightforward. Oracle Trials, you just gotta time it. And yeah, the rest of the stuff is pretty much gonna be cleared already for myself or an easy clear, especially the Arena Platinum Tree one. So if you're at this stage of the game where you're actually looking to clear the Odyssey quest, I don't think Plat 3 is too hard to obtain. Okay, so with that, let's just head in and claim the Forgers. See if we get anything good. 7 Forgers today? Yep. And yeah, probably going to use that Mythic Arte Artifact Essence on the X Artifact. I think it gives like a 3% damage boost, which we can take a look at later. Hey, first one, and we got something good. The Silas Artifact. So I did the calculations before. Uh, why this works well is that in Guild Boss, you don't actually kill any units. So the passive blood pack never ever triggers. But with this, Silas might actually get some extra damage periodically. Is much better than you know um not proking that at all not sure if it works better than spirit siphon actually uh but i heard that in guild boss for sure the eye of Pen penitence is actually much better nice let's continue on okay punishing us with a legendary golden scarab ripper's emblem Okay. I mean, after getting that Silas exclusive, honestly, nothing else can. Yeah, I think that's gonna max out my realm tear. The one that I'm building. I think it was on Valkyra. Yeah, this is the one that's, that needs to get maxed up. So, Silas artifact, if you see the promotion here, it's gonna be 18 in 15 to 18%, so 3% increase. It's a no-brainer because this is the best artifact in the game at the moment. And then the Hex one, sorry, the Silas one, probably have to do some testing, see if it's better. But uh, this Spirit Cyclone gives a 30% damage boost. Whereas Blood Pack actually gives a 40% damage increase for 10 seconds. And it can be triggered every 15 seconds, which means that... um. Do the math, you're actually losing out on that 40% in that 15 seconds. So I did the math before, it does work out for you, but uh, if let's say you're killing units, then obviously Spirit Siphon works way better. But yeah. 
Nice. Um, was thinking about trying out our luck in some ancients as well. We did get legendaries like 21 summons ago, so we're not expecting too much. Yeah, so let's do some of these pulls. Okay, let's be rest. To the last one, how far are we actually now to P one seven seven twenty three thirty five? Yeah, I think it's thirty five away from PD. So probably get enough summons in like the next few weeks. Yeah, don't think we should pull anymore. It's just testing our luck at this point. I was considering on this one, but I know that the Arrogant Soul Stone is actually coming out um, in a few weeks time. Uh, that's gonna be 15% extra damage to targets with burning. And then obviously A5 is also pretty crazy, but uh, it's probably gonna consume too many pools. I did see that a new banner was gonna come out with Constance and Magda, the new Zilitu, which is blue in color instead. So. Gonna be great for some AoE content, things like uh, Conqueror's Codex, Arena as well, so we're just gonna save on that because this is not 2x as well. And we did get Boreas in like the last summon session that we did. So yeah, that's probably gonna be it for the video. Let me know down in the comment section if you did get any nice artifacts like I did today. And if you did any ancient summons, let me know as well if you got something good because I did see one of my... Cute mates actually score at Iowa. What was it? I think he's, he already has Araka though. So he wasn't sure whether it's a, a lot better. But Iowa shines way better because he has a lot actually does damage. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.